Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Yesterday, I posted a video on repairing one of the uh, Mark's four-wheel plastic tenders if the stud had been broken off on the stanchion. And uh, in the video, I showed a really simple way to just uh, drill a hole in the end of the stanchion and mount the coupler with a screw. Well, I got an email from Robert asking me if there was a way to repair one of these uh, four-wheel plastic tenders. Uh, if the stanchion itself was broken off. And I just happened to have one on this consist uh, that I repaired. So I thought I'd do a quick video. Anyway, as you see, the stanchion is broken completely off. So there's no place to mount the coupler. It mounts on top of the stanchion, just like on this end. So what I did was uh, took a small uh, square wooden dowel, cut it to fit, as you see, across the front and just glued it in place then drilled a hole in the piece of wood and mounted a coupler with a screw. As you see, it's really simple. Get the screw good and tight and then put a drop of oil on it. It uh, makes a really, really uh, permanent, tight connection. And the nice thing about it is it resurrects the tender. As you see, it is now fully runnable, where before it was virtually useless. So I just wanted to do a quick, a quick video for Robert on this. So take this around so you can see it running. It's really simple. It only takes a minute. It's a simple repair. You know, otherwise this uh, tender would have sat in the bottom of the parts box virtually forever. Or until I uh, snagged the wheels or snagged that other coupler. But it's a really simple repair for an otherwise useless Mark's tinder as you see it's a really simple repair and it only takes a minute and uh, just use a hacksaw blade you can get these uh, uh, square uh, dowels at Menards Home Depot everybody has them any uh, ace hardware would have them anyway cut it to length glue it in place drill a hole and mount a uh, tab and slot uh, coupler and you're up and running it's a really really simple repair because with that uh, stanchion broken off, as you see, there is no way to repair this tender. Uh, this came as something I bought from eBay and somebody throws it in the box just to get rid of it because they know that they cannot sell it. So in this case, uh, in most cases, I uh, usually strip them for whatever parts they have, the wheels and the coupler on this end. But it's actually a really, really simple repair just to glue that piece of wood across the front of the car and it gives you an instant place to mount the coupler, all modified, of course, but it works. And uh, this thing was useless. This was an artifact. It was just junk. There was nothing you could do with it, and there was no simple, easy repair for it because the stanchion was broken off. In this case, that little piece of wood, a screw, an old tab and slot coupler, and you're up and running. You can uh, take some real junk and turn it into running cars. And that's why I always stress, don't overlook the junk. You can get some really decent rolling stock, really cheap, sometimes free, by doing simple repairs just like this. So, it works, it's simple, it only takes a minute to do it, and uh, best of all, it uh, allows you to uh, run this uh, tender that was otherwise doomed to sit in the bottom of a parts box. That... Uh, Stanchion, as you see, is broken completely off, so there is no place to mount the coupler. So that little piece of wood takes the place of the stanchion. Uh, make a custom coupler. This is an old tab and slot that I just basically chopped off and drilled a hole in. And you're up and running. It's simple. It costs virtually nothing. Best of all, it works. And uh, it allows you to make use of some of these old, nasty cars that are otherwise simply junk. So, just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.